Okay, next thing we're going to do is install a couple of apps that are essential. So if you're not using the Debutify theme, you're going to want to install a currency converter. So the one that I recommend, I'll show you. The reason I recommend it is it's the only currency converter that is made by Shopify or endorsed by Shopify in the sense that it works for your um, multi-currency checkout, which is something we're going to be setting up later on. So if you just type in um, currency converter, okay, I'll show you exactly which one it is. And the one that you want to be using is this one here. So auto currency switcher, it's made by ML Vita, awesome little app, very, very easy to use. But if you're using Debutify, the currency converter is already installed in the app and it's based on location. So you don't have to worry too much about that. But if you do want to use an external one, just add this app here. The next app we're going to use is Privy. So you just type in Privy, it's this one here. What we're going to use this for is emails only. And I use it for my abandoned cart emails and I use it for, um, you know, newsletter follow-ups. I know a lot of people use Klaviyo and that's an awesome app but it's a bit too confusing to use for beginners and I feel like Privy is a very easy one to get your head around. I like to send my emails separately using uh, MailChimp and that's a completely you know separate thing for email marketing. Unfortunately that doesn't link with Shopify anymore but Privy does a great job and like I said I only use it for emails so I'm going to hit the add app button. It's going to take me to the Privy website once I install it here so I'm just going to click install app. It's going to ask you for your business name and your contact number, input that and then it'll bring you to this page here just hit get started you don't have to worry too much about everything just go unpublish and edit for the newsletter sign up stop the campaign um you know get rid of notifications all that kind of stuff don't worry too much about anything the first thing i want you to do is go to your settings and then click the upgrade button and then add email so leave it as free and then just click add email ten dollars per month it's an extra five dollars per month for every one thousand contacts above the it's like startup 1000 mailable contacts so it's really affordable and what you're getting is newsletters abandoned emails um, abandoned cart emails auto follow-ups you get welcome email series and coupon reminders so it's really really worth it obviously enter your details and then click confirm upgrade and then you'll be ready to go so after you've put your uh, credit card details in it's going to charge you instantly so make sure you have the money available and you'll now see that you've got yourself set up for the emails and then what you have to do is go through i'll show you uh in another stage later on what we're going to do for our abandoned carts and also for our newsletters and auto follow-ups so these are the three things that we're going to be setting up and it's something that is pretty simple for abandoned cart i normally like to send five emails and then for newsletters i like to send maybe you know one every two or four weeks and then auto follow-up you just send that out maybe three weeks after someone places an order and that'll just send them an email asking them how their product is but we're going to be using a review app for that anyway so we don't really have to worry too much the two um, privy and we're going to be using looks reviews they both integrate um, but I just use looks with one of the higher plans and you know that helps with getting reviews and getting photo reviews especially so now that we've installed preview we can close this and I'll just refresh this page now the next thing we're going to do is install some print on demand supplier apps so what you can do is go to the app store and just type in print on demand if you don't know the actual supplier so if you just go print on demand it'll come up with a whole bunch of different print on demand ones so you've got these ads up here don't look too much into these ones I just go sort by um, most relevant or you can go most installed if you're uninsured but Printful is definitely the biggest one that's out there um, you've got Printify which I have never used I've heard good things and bad things Printify allows you to um, you know connect with multiple suppliers so they're just a the middleman Printful prints everything in-house Custom Cat is its own print on demand fulfillment company but it also comes up on Printify as my locker so make sure you're aware of that Spod is really really good for really fast turnaround um, definitely recommend them their products do come with a bit of a smell though so you have to make sure you look into that a bit further and make sure that you put on your product page that the products need to be washed before being worn um, t launch is an app that i've used in the past i definitely recommend it really really good app um, lots of product options and everything like that and then you know you've got a whole bunch of things here you got ogo um, all over print plus out of where i don't like these guys i had a massive issue with them but i couldn't even answer a simple question um pretty much it was just scripted responses you could tell it was like a va that was working for them that had no idea about anything so i'm going to go ahead and say i don't like out of where you're more than welcome to try it yourself but i'll never ever try out of where 
um, you know, for my personal reasons. Um, Subliminator, I definitely recommend them. I think they're really, really good. So again, you can install literally all of them, set up an account with all of them and just go through the products and have a look at what the products are. Otherwise, just click into a, one of them. So going to Printful, for example, go into the app and definitely have a, a look at the reviews that are available on the app. So just scroll down and always sort by most recent, okay? And just have a look at what the review ratings are. Now, keep in mind that a lot of the reviews are competitors faking reviews or the company themselves adding positive reviews if they're getting a ton of negative reviews. So what you want to do is kind of base it for yourself. My kind of thing is if someone's giving a terrible review for a company or recommending another company, I would say that's a competitor or someone, you know, an affiliate trying to get somebody to use another app. So I don't really believe those reviews that much. If it's someone who is a store, you know, you, you can see the store names here. So just Google the store, have a look at the store and see if it's a legitimate store. And then, you know, have a look at the reviews on the store's website. So if someone's saying that the products are terrible, but the reviews on their website are saying the products are great, then, you know, I wouldn't really look too much into that review as being 100% legitimate. But always look at the most recent reviews. And then I also go and look at um, all the one star and two star reviews and have a look at what people are saying and then have a look at what the developer reply is. If the developer is replying in a negative way, then I'm not really keen on that. I want the developer to show that they care about the review and that they're willing to fix whatever the problem is. If their defense, uh, if, sorry, if their reply is always based on defense, I don't like that kind of stuff. I like the developer to admit that there's a problem if there is a problem and you know try and figure out a way to resolve it. So always go through and look at the developer replies. And also a great sign is seeing that the developer is replying to a lot of the reviews. So you want to go ahead, install whatever um, app that you're going to be using or whichever apps that you're going to be using and get that onto your store. So to start with, I'm going to install T-Launch and I'm also going to install Subliminator. Between these two uh, companies, I'll be able to pretty much have every product that I need on my um, store. And T-Launch is great if you want to do personalization because they offer a lot of personalization options directly within the app that actually plug into your website. It's automatically going to install the apps. It's very, very simple to do. Add the apps and then make sure you go into each app and set up an account. You'll probably have to put your card details in before you can start adding products to your stores. But that's something you want to try and get done straight away set up the account that's not going to cost you anything um, unless the app has a monthly fee um, but you want to be able to set up the account so that way there you can add products to your stores and we can start getting things added on to our store and then we can start designing our store a bit further so these are just the apps that i would start with and then we're going to install some other apps later on down the track but now this is more than enough to get us going we'll be able to add products to our store and we'll also be able to start customizing our theme so that our store starts looking good and starts resembling our brand and then because a lot of the apps do charge you i don't like to install all of them straight away these are the ones i just jump on install them get it over and done with right at the beginning